Every year, the Library of Congress designates 25 sound recordings, cultural and historic treasures, and it preserves the best available copy for future generations. This year's choices announced today include an 1888 hand-cranked recording of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Prince's Purple Rain, a Charlie Brown Christmas, and one that caught our ear. Franklin D. Roosevelt stood beside Chief Justice Hughes on the steps of the Capitol on that raw afternoon of March 4th, and a nation with 15 million unemployed listened. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The recording is called I Can Hear It Now, 13 Years of History from FDR's inauguration in 1933 through his funeral and the end of World War II in 45, narrated by Edward R. Murrow. A city watched, a nation listened. Arthur Godfrey, an old Washington hand, described it. And now just, just coming past the treasury, I can see the horses drawing the case on. The project was the brainchild of CBS News producer Fred Friendly. When a musician's strike left Columbia Records in need of material, he went through 500 hours of radio broadcast to create what he called a scrapbook for the ear. On May 8th, President Truman announced that another promise had been kept. The forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. Columbia released the five-disc set in 1948. It was an immediate hit. In just six weeks, it sold 125,000 copies.